Good morning, you guys. So we have a predicament on our hands this morning. <laughs> this is just what comes with living in the middle of the freaking woods, y'all. Yeah, like, it's up. always something with edibles out here, which is good. Okay. So this morning we had, like, a tent company coming. They're actually here right now. They're putting up a tent because tomorrow we're doing, like, a barbecue, like, little barbecue party thing, whatever. I think mm -hmm. we told you guys about it in our YouTube video. So um, the guy got here before us because we were dropping shine to school. So when we got here, we saw them, like, in our woods. And we're like, yeah, what the heck are they, they doing? like... like they probably smoked. I thought they like, like they were smoking or something. Off in the woods, like they were in the middle on? of the woods. Like, I hope they don't think that we're putting the tent over there. <laughs> yeah. So, so when we got out the car. Yeah. That's how what happened. We got out the car and the guy came over. He's like, "Oh, like I just um helped this bird over there, and you have like an injured bird. You guys are definitely gonna have to call somebody." Then he walks over to us and he hands us the string. I'll show you guys. It's kind of like a fishing line, like a clear string. Yeah. So we're just thinking it's a bird. It's a bird. He a said bird a bird. bird. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. okay, a bird. He's like, here, come, come look. At I'm looking, I'm like, where, where do you see? He's like, it's over there, you see it? Yo, I look, it's a big ass owl. Big this ain't owl. no bird, like it's an owl. Mm -hmm. And staring at it. it's just staring at us with its like big circle black eyes. It is mad big, y'all. Like, I never seen an owl like this close and personal because it's literally like right here on our property, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's sitting over there right now. It's injured, I guess. Um, we weren't sure if it was just like in shock and maybe, you know, it'll get up and fly away, but it's been there for like, what now? It's been there for a minute, so I had to call around. I was calling a whole bunch of, like, rescue spots and DC and all this stuff. And believe it or not, it's mad hard to try and get an owl rescued. Like, I didn't know that. But it's still sitting there, and it looks mad sad, y'all. Like, let me show y'all this thing. But, yeah, look. You guys gotta look close. You see it? Am I right bugging? There? Is the wing, like, caught on this branch? Oh. They have, like, human-like features. <laughs> now, when the it's eyes are open, creepy. it looks like a human staring at you. It's mm -hmm. crazy. But yeah, so it's just sitting right here. All right, so I'm going to show you guys, um, like, what was wrapped around it. I should probably go ask the guy, though, if it was only wrapped around the wing, just so we could tell the lady when she gets here, so she knows exactly the situation. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was like this fishing line. Look. This thing. Pretty much this whole... I ain't gonna lie. I would not have been able to go over to that owl and unwrap it with my hands. Like, <laughs> I would not have been able to do that. But yeah, so I was just like looking up on Google like, oh, who do you call for an injured owl? And it brought me to like a whole bunch of numbers in our area. And I was clearers and rescue areas and I was calling them. And believe it or not, it's mad hard to like find someone that could rescue an owl because not everybody takes owls, I guess. And then a couple of them that like do birds and owls and such, they were full. Like they were like, oh, they can't take no more birds. They can't take any more owls. I'm like, what the hell? So I called like four different spots. They were all full. Um, I ended up finding two that were basically like available to come, but one of them was like all the way in the mountains, so they have. And then I found another lady that rescued birds, and she's the one that's on the way right now. So yeah, she said she's gonna be here in like 30 minutes. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted and updated, and just show you guys like the process of what happens. Like I said, I never dealt with nothing like this, but I just wanted to call and make sure that like it got rescued because obviously it's like hurt, and I don't want it to die or nothing, but. Yeah, so just keeping y'all updated. This is the random shit that just goes on <laughs> when you live in the woods. Just got here. Let's see how she does this. Wow, that's a big net. That's a huge net. That's it. You see his head? You see his head. Yeah. Oh, you guys stay over here. Oh, it turned his head. Oh, shit. Hi. Hey. <laughs> oh. Got it. She's a pro. Oh, that shit is big. She got you. Oh, it's chilling. She got it. Oh, she got it lit. Oh, she got his feet. Good. Wow. Yo, that shit is like half her size. Oh. It's all feathers, you know, it's all. Yeah, it's all feathers. It's pretty though. Wow. Well, it can't do nothing when it when you like hold it by its feet. Huh? It can't do anything once you hold it by its feet. Nope. Oh, it's my Here. <laughs> She's like, nope. I'm holding like right up against his belly. Oh. Yeah, like. Yeah, it well, it has. You know, it's. It, it would have oh, gone out of like here if it wasn't oh. if it was feeling better. Oh. And, Is it uh, biting you? Yeah. <laughs> Said, yeah. But those gloves. Wait, from the city? Yeah. yeah, you know he's a city boy. <laughs> <laughs> She's funny. You know.
know he's a city boy. I, I'm, it's not an insult. I can just, I mean. You could tell. No, no, no. no. <laughs> We're not used to the wild. I'm wildlife? definitely a city boy. I'm definitely not used to stuff like this. <laughs> Look at Quan backing up. Yeah, I got to back up. I got no glove on my hand. She's the one doing everything. All you have to do oh. if it gets loose is uh, put that net over it. Yeah. Then we'll grab it again. I got to cop me one of those. If it gets loose. got to cop one of these. I'm holding it. It's just a, you know, it's a fishing Fishing now. Yeah. She gave it to me to hold, y'all. I just need both my hands for a minute. Uh huh. Wow. Was, was it from here, or did it... I? I mean, I, you see the flies coming off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they land on you, don't get don't get crazy on me. Just like sm smack them. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to be on people, but they they're bailing ship a little bit. Wow. Wow. That's why I, I bring this. I bring it right away so that by the time I get home, mm. all those boogers are dead. dead wow. Right? I'm also just kind of checking it over a little bit. All right, y'all. So she came. She took the owl. She said she's going to keep us updated within the like next day or two and just let us know like what's going on, what happened, if she has to take it to a vet or not. And it's crazy because she was saying that she's gotten like 400 calls for like birds, falcons, owls this year alone. So it's been really bad. And she has like five falcons at her house right now and a few owls and mad birds and everything. So I'm like, dang girl, you doing a thing. But yes, yeah, so that's what happened. I think it's mad funny that she knew Quan was a city boy. Ah! <laughs> Quan was stepping back. She's, she's doing her thing with the owl with the net. Quan's just like this, inching backwards like, okay. <laughs> Flapping his wings. It was. I thought I didn't want her to like let it get loose and it comes at us or something. But but yeah, it's taken care of. <laughs>